Hi everyone. Um, I'm just checking in. It's been um, an okay few days. I've picked a little bit. Um, again, my boyfriend is coming into town in eight days, so I'm trying really hard not to pick everything and just let my face heal up. So hopefully that works out. I have been doing a couple of things um, somewhat differently than I have before, but um, I just wanted to share some of them with you. I've sometimes found it helpful to put notes on my mirror, since that is where I pick most of the time. So I've had I've had notes of just like I'll put up an event or something to remind me, like, oh, you're not picking because you have this thing coming up, and don't you dare do it. So anyway, I put tons of notes on my mirror before. I've written on there in dry erase marker, just different reminders and mostly things like, you know, to be mindful. A lot of the time when you're picking, you can just zone out and get into a trance, as you know, and an hour or two later, you are mutilated. So I totally get how that goes and something I found helpful is just being mindful so if you have any experience with meditation that definitely helps if not my suggestion would just be you know try to remain present when you go to the bathroom like just be there realize what you're doing every single thing that you're doing when you're washing your hands think about the water on your hands you know just be mindful of where you're at and don't lose focus and start daydreaming and you know all the crazy shit that happens. So I put some new notes on my mirror and on my bathroom walls that are kind of helping me along this next week or so to try and not pick my face or anywhere really but most of my problem is with my face. Um, so the first one, and I really recommend this for anybody. If if you can do it and you, you know, either live alone or live with people who understand that you're going through this and you need some extra help and, you know, won't criticize you for doing this, then I totally recommend putting notes on your mirror or in your bathroom. So this first one I'm really liking. And as you know, some tips are useful for a little while, not useful at all, or, you know, you, you might carry them for a long time and they can help you through some of those difficult moments. But this first one is a list called Benefits of Changing. And this is just to remind myself of all the things that will be better in my life if I'm able to stop picking. And I'll just read them to you. Some of them might sound silly, but this is personal to me, and I suggest that anybody struggling with this make their own list and really think about the reasons that you want to change so that you can keep motivated in those hard times. So the first one is more time to do the things that I want, being productive, getting more sleep, wearing whatever I want, clear and even skin, high self-esteem, socializing freely, less makeup, feeling healthy, more intimacy without planning, being a good friend by not flaking on people. As you know, sometimes you pick your face, you had all these plans, and then you have to cancel because there's no way you can be seen in public. Then I have more time with Bruce, Bruce is my dog, feeling pretty, a sense of accomplishment, going outside more, and less skin products. So I, I found this one helpful the last couple days. I mean, I try and come up with new things that'll help me and just see how long that they last. The other one I have is a little sticky note. Sticky notes are great for the mirror. It says, be mindful. 
Sit with uncomfortable feelings and urges without reacting. They are temporary. And I think that's really important to remember as you're struggling with any sort of OCD or anxiety is that it's temporary. And it's easier said than done. But if you can sit with those feelings and the discomfort and whatever you're going through, a lot of times OCD rears its ugly head when you're feeling stressed out. So if you can just sit and tell yourself, yeah, I know I'm stressed out and it's okay and I'm just going to, you know, take my mind off of it some other way, some healthier way, maybe go for a walk or something. And just, just sit there and think it's okay. It's okay to feel stressed. It's okay to feel depressed. It's okay to feel tired or overwhelmed or jealous or whatever you're going through. It's totally fine. It's just an emotion and if you let it sit long enough, it will go away because it is temporary and you just gotta ride through it. Which is, like I said, easier said than done, which is why I have this reminder. And the other things I have is a list of triggers that I came up with last night. Um, and this is to remind me if I start doing these things then that is a likely indication that I'm about to go on a picking spree. Some of them just happen automatically but if I can think like oh that's on my trigger list maybe I'll be more aware and not just go straight into picking my skin. So the first one is when I am home alone at night, before bed, feeling stressed or anxious, when I think about my jealousy issues, making up stories, usually negative daydreaming, when I feel my skin and feel a bump, when I see a bump or a blackhead, getting too close to the mirror, when I tell myself that I am just going to pick this one thing, because as we know, it is never that one thing. You can try to convince yourself that it is, and you're going to walk away after that, but that never happens. Ever. And I still do that, but it's a trigger, and now it's on my list, so maybe that'll help me. We'll see. And the last one is when I'm feeling depressed or tired. And that's a big one for me is I generally pick in the evening and I'm generally really tired and it's easy for me to zone out right before bed and just just lose myself in it. And it's taken me a while to realize that a lot of that is just me being tired and I need to go to sleep. So that's probably the case with some of you as well, I don't know. My last piece of paper is healthy alternatives. So when I do feel a trigger, the goal here, like I said, this has not been in effect for very long. So I'm just telling you what my plan is and we'll see how well it's going to work. So I have a list of healthy alternatives. Turn off the light in the bathroom, which I've tried to do for several years. Like don't even turn on the light when I'm washing my face. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. A lot of times I start out with the light off and then feel something and I turn it on. Uh, going to get a glass of water. Sitting down for meditation. Typing in my journal. I've been keeping a journal lately. Petting Bruce. Again, that's my dog. Going for a walk. Painting or drawing. Going for a run. Or cleaning my house. Now. <laughs> As we know, OCD sometimes takes the form of obsessive cleaning. So that's not for everybody. For me, I, I don't see myself getting there, but um, those are just options of things I can do when I start to feel an urge. Uh, mostly things to just get me out of the house would be great. Because when I'm away from it, I can get some fresh air, you know, come back in 20 minutes and hopefully I feel better. Or um, 
keeping your hands occupied, I hear, is a very good thing. At one point, I tried wearing gloves all the time at night. That was just hard to function as a person in general, but that might work for some people. I also have tried acrylic nail sets. Those did help, although I was able to find ways to maneuver around them as well. And they're pretty expensive to get done all the time. So anyway, I just wanted to share those things with you as well as I'm very excited because I signed up for that OCD Center of Los Angeles class that they're having starting September 30th for dermatillomania and trichotillomania. I wish it was starting sooner because I'm so ready to get on the path of recovery and have real professionals working with me. I know there's going to be like probably hundreds of people who are in the class, so I don't know if it's going to be super personal, but to me it was worth it to give it a shot. I mean, it seems like an opportunity that I just didn't want to miss. And I think, you know, if you've struggled for <laughs> as many years as I have, and I know a lot of you have, then it's worth it. You know, right now they're doing 20% off of the class. Um, I think before September 8th, it's 10% off. If you sign up today, because it's the last day to sign up for the full 20% off, you can enter a coupon code. It is Facebook with a capital F. And that will bring the price down to about, I think, $230 instead of the $260 or the $290 after September 8th. So just wanted to share all that with you. Please leave comments. I really have loved that people have started subscribing to my channel, even though it's just a few. It's just nice to know that there's other people out there struggling with this, and I really love the comments and will respond to every single one. So thanks, and see you later.